Ani Bojo. In the Ojibwe culture, trust and respect is key to any relationship. Uh, oh, shoot. You got it, Merrick. Keep going. How can I trust and respect the federal government after 150 plus years of lies and abuse to my people? And as Prime Minister, what will you do to rebuild the trust between First Nations and the federal government? That was such a moment, and he joins us now. Merrick, 20,000 people submitted questions they wanted to ask party leaders. You were one of only five people to be selected. What was going through your mind when you got that call to come and ask your question? Um, I was a bit surprised, you know. I'm just some kid up from, you know, Sault Ste. Marie in northern Ontario, right? <laughs> we're a city that isn't really um, looked at, even in provincial or federal politics. So. Um, you know, being First Nations and everything, it was just, it was uh, pretty shocking. Um, but it was a very nice experience to get to do. Well, we all loved seeing you there to kick off that reconciliation uh, block of the program. You know, it was emotional to watch you pause in that moment. You know, what were you feeling? Um, there was a lot of stuff going on, both technical and emotional. Um, you know, I had an earpiece in, which, you know, I've never done before, right? So I'm hearing the production team in the background. I'm hearing the moderator. I'm hearing the producer saying, okay, you know, it's uh, get ready. You're about to go up and, um, you know, having to be there and, you know, be TV ready right in front of the camera. And then boom, you got a million plus people's eyes on you. Um, and I was outside my grandmother's house, um, who, you know, has actually been on APTN, um, you know, she is, uh, I think it's about a year or two now she's passed. So it was very um, heavy for me, very emotional. And so, you know, I had all that going on. But when the moderator said, you know, you got this, Merrick, I, I just felt this um, wave of support. I could kind of just feel everyone, you know, who's at home rooting for me. It just kind of all swept up and boom, pow, right? And that's when I was able to get that question out. And yeah, it was just a lot. <laughs> I was so happy when Shashi Curl, the moderator there, was like, come on, you've got this. And, you know, Beverly Andrews and I were there for APTN. And I think we all just kind of stopped in that moment. It's like, Merrick. And so I was so happy when you came and you just, like, you hammered the question. So I have to think, you know, what did you think of the answers that you got? I was a little disappointed, I'll be honest. Um, you know, I think a lot of them said the right stuff. Um, you know, they got the policy right, but you know their actions over the last six years or beyond hasn't really supported that i mean whether it's with trudeau you know a lot of the stuff he's doing is just now is that just because you know government takes time to get stuff done or was that because oh you know we're about to call an election uh let's get some good photo ops and you know with o'toole saying that residential schools are primarily about education right you know i had grad parents that went to residential school i know that's not true you know my own mother who's only in her 40s um she's a day school survivor and so you know there's a lot of trauma and abuse there so you know i was really hoping that the leaders at least one of them would really have that knockout uh, response and you know really understand why i was asking that question you know yeah. It's a big job, but someone's got to do it, right? And I'm not sure if one of them can. Well, do you feel that this election is different in how Indigenous issues and reconciliation are a priority, not for the leaders, uh, but for Canadians, for voters? Absolutely. Um, you know, especially with the unmarked graves, this is like a real kind of peeling off the Band-Aid and seeing, you know, how deep this wound is. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people just think, well, it's, you know, they're just on reserves, right? Or it happened so long ago, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's not really relevant anymore. And it is. And we're still dealing, especially with residential schools, the long-term effects. You know, yeah. our people are some of the least educated, are the most impoverished and have the least uh, economic and just overall opportunities in the country and it's on our own land right mm -hmm. yeah so it, it's just and that's not even mentioning the trauma like you said the trauma and all the impacts that the trauma has that we see you know every day in this country um mm -hmm. among our people yeah exactly well we thank you we love you we love that question it was so good to see you up there starting starting off that debate uh, that portion of the debate thank you for joining us here tonight we have much appreciation Chimi Gwetch, and you did great yourself, Melissa. Don't, uh, you know, don't discredit yourself. Oh, thank you.